good morning, everybody. It's an enormous pleasure for me to welcome President Sarkozy of Georgia. We are good friends, well acquainted. Uh, I spent time with him in Georgia, and we met elsewhere, uh, New York, uh, here in Washington over the years. Uh, we are very grateful in the United States for the uh, assistance that Georgia has given us with respect to Afghanistan. Georgia is the largest contributor of troops uh, of a non-NATO country. And they have also made significant commitments with respect to post-2014. Uh, just as importantly, uh, we are very supportive of Georgia's aspirations with respect to NATO and uh, Europe. Uh, and we applaud the democratic transition that has been taking place. The President engaged in the first uh, peaceful election and transfer of power. Uh, and I know is committed to continue to work for the democratic aspirations of the Rose Revolution. And so we look forward to uh, having a good conversation, but I'm particularly happy to welcome him today. I know his term is up uh, this fall. I'll be anxious to talk to him about the future. But the democratic transition in Georgia is vital, it's important, and we're grateful to everybody's efforts to keep that on track. So welcome. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. It's a great thrill to see you in that office. I think it's uh, very incredibly lucky to have you as Secretary. And uh, we were lucky to have you in Georgia at the very result moment of our history when Georgia was attacked. You, as you were the first one to come to our rescue. And you came to Georgia at a very difficult moment, a uh, dangerous moment for you physically and personally, but you uh, basically it, uh, you braved it and you, uh, you came. And uh, we will never forget, as well as we'll never forget your great struggle at the U.S. Congress as the senator and head of the Committee for Democracy, Freedom, Rights of uh, Minorities all over the world. That's something that really shows the best of America's moral stance. And, you know, of course we are here to talk about NATO. We want American support of NATO. We want American support of further Eurasian integration. And it's a very difficult and crucial moment for Georgia's uh, democracy and Georgia's survival. Uh, and certainly uh, we want to see America strong and I think instrumental in that is having you in this office as well with your experience, with your international and renomé contacts because we've admired you for all these years as, uh, as a senator, as a great friend, as a really knowledgeable person on all these matters. And I think it's really incredible, it's incredibly important that it's a very difficult moment of, the, of world uh, history to have you here, and we'll do our best to work with you as allies, as friends, and uh, as a partner. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We were mentioning earlier, he broke his shoulder riding a bike, and I broke my glasses. So uh, uh, you <laughs> see, some people were disagreeing you for biking it, but as long as one or at least of the people who broke their feet on the bike, had it by Secretary, Secretary General NATO, so I, it's a good club. It's a good club. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.